Hello Year 3, um, here is your next maths lesson, carrying on with our column addition today. This is Lesson 6. Okay, let's just share the screen. Here it comes. Okay, so if you'd like to do today's date and the Walt. Okay, just pause the recording while you get that done. Okay, let's have a look at that. Walt today is to use column addition for three-digit and two-digit numbers when regrouping is required in multiple columns. Okay, so we're going to be regrouping from the ones into the tens and the tens into the hundreds, okay? Not just one of those today. Let's just have a recap. What's hiding behind my blue boxes here? What have you learned so far? All about uh, column addition. So what might be hiding here? So Colin's, oh, Colin's telling us that we need to make sure that the ones are lined up with the ones. So when setting out your calculations, it's really important that the ones line up with the ones. And we also put those place value headings as well, because that reminds you about the ones, the tens and the hundreds. So ones with the ones, what might be behind these other two? Oh, tens with the tens and hundreds with the hundreds. But Coco is telling us if the column sum is equal to 10 or more, we must regroup okay so that's the rule isn't it you can't have that 10 ones or 10 tens squished into that answer box you need to regroup into uh, the 10 ones becoming an extra 10 or the 10 tens becoming an extra 100 and then Colin's reminding us again that we line up the tens with the tens and obviously hundreds with the hundreds that lining up is really important in your columns to make sure that your addition is correct and I know that Colin and Coco and some of those go deep activities, they don't do that very well. Okay, let's have a little bit of another recap of your review of learning so far. So here's a calculation that Colin's asking us to find the answer for, 243 add 75. Okay, so if we were going to answer that, here's my hundreds, tens and ones as a reminder, uh, 243 add 75. So I need to make sure that my 243, all of those digits are in the right columns. 243, there's my addition sign. What are we adding on? 75. So does my 75 go over here? No, because that would mean 700. So 75, making sure that that is the seven tens and five ones. Now that I've set it out correctly, don't forget my big equal sign here. Now I can work on my calculation. So for my ones column, three ones add five ones is going to give us eight ones. You can probably already see that one of those answers is gonna be wrong. So we can kind of discount A already. So three ones add five ones is eight ones. Four tens add seven tens is going to make 11 tens. Okay, we can't squish, there's too many there. So we're going to regroup the 11 tens into 100 and 110. And now that we've regrouped there, now we can look at our hundreds column. So it's 200 add, well, there's no hundreds here, but we mustn't forget our regrouped hundred here. So 200 add 100 is 300 and my answer is 318 which was C well done if you got that one straight away okay just a little reminder of when you're um, regrouping we should be regrouping our tens or so our ones or our tens at the bottom okay a couple of you are regrouping and putting the extra 10 or the extra 100 at the top here Make sure that this is regrouped underneath here. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're doing today. So this is going to be regrouping in more than one column today. So here we've got our calculation of 578 add 64. So let's just check in our place value grid, one, two, three, four, 500, and one, two, three, four, five, six, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got 578 and we need to add in 64. So I'm going to write it into my um, column addition, first of all. 
So 578, making sure that my place value headings are there and my hundreds, my tens and ones are in the right place. And I'm adding on 64. Is the six in the hundreds column? No, make sure that six is in the tens column. Six tens is 60 and four ones. Really important that those digits line up. There's my equals. Okay, so I can solve the calculation. I'm just going to check it with my place value counters as well. So we know we've got 578 already there. So I need to add in 64. Is that hundreds? No, there's no hundreds that I'm adding on. So we need to be looking at tens. So six tens, 60 needs to be coming into my tens column. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my 60. And I need four ones. One, two, three, four. There's four ones. Now you can already probably see from your place value grid that there's too many ones now in that ones column and there's too many tens in the tens column. But we need to make sure that we are regrouping from the ones column first of all. So how many ones do we now have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ones. Now we can't keep those in the ones column. We need to regroup those twelve ones into one ten and two ones. So I would be regrouping here. There's my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. And those ten ones can now be regrouped into an extra 10 here. And if we show that in our calculation, eight ones add four ones makes 12 ones and we regroup that into one 10 and two ones. We must make sure we start with the ones first of all. Now we can move on to the tens column. So we've got seven tens and six tens and our extra one 10 that we have already regrouped. So there's my seven tens, six tens, and my one 10, which was regrouped. How many tens have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tens. Again, it's too many tens for the tens column. So we need to regroup those 14 tens into 104 tens. So let's regroup here. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to regroup the ten tens. And so that ten tens then becomes an extra hundred. So there's my regrouped hundred here. How many tens have I now got? I've got four tens and one hundred. So in my column addition, my seven tens add six tens add one ten. We need to make sure that we've added all of those together. So the original seven tens and the six tens and the regrouped one ten now makes 14 tens, which is 104 tens. So the four tens goes in the tens column and the 100 goes in the hundreds column. There it is there. And there's my 100 and my four tens. Now I can move on to the hundreds column. I've got 500 and zero hundreds here from my original calculation. But I have got an extra 100, which we regroup. So how many hundreds altogether? 500 add 100 makes 600. So 642 is my final answer. Okay, let's have a look at another example. 256 add 66. Here's 256. 256. What am I adding on? With my addition sign. 66, make sure those are in the right columns.
and my equal sign there. So go to your ones column first of all, six add six. So six add six is 12. That would regroup into one ten and two ones. If we show that in our place value grid, let's add on those six ones first of all. One, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six. Okay, there's the six of the 66. And if we put in our six tens, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our 66 that we're adding on. And we've already found that we've there were too many ones. We've had to regroup. So if I regroup my ones column, so I need to regroup one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's my regrouping. And that makes an extra ten here. So the ten ones are regrouped into an extra ten and my two ones which are left over. So there's the one ten and the two ones. Now we can move to our tens column. So we've got 50 and 60 and our extra regrouped 10. So five tens and six tens and one 10. How many tens is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 tens. So again, there's too many tens. We need to regroup that into 100 and two tens. So my regrouped tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There they are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I regroup the ten tens into an extra hundred and one, two tens, which are left over. So five tens and six tens and one ten makes one hundred and two tens. And then last of all, I can move to my hundreds column. So I've got my original two hundred no hundreds from the 66 and my one extra hundred which was regrouped so 200 add 100 is 300 one two three hundreds 322 is my final answer okay let's move on to another example we've got 579 add 51 let's have a go at this one together okay you might want to pause the recording while you have a go at this one um, and then see if you get the same answer as me. Okay, you ready? Off you go. There's my 579, making sure that's all lined up. There's my addition, my 51, make sure that goes into the correct columns. Equal sign. Okay, I'm just going to use my column addition this time. So I've got nine and one is 10. There's my regrouped. That makes one 10 and zero ones. Seven tens and five tens and one 10. That makes 13 tens. And 500 out of 100 is 600. Okay, 630, did you get the same answer? Let's just check them. So nine and one in the ones column makes 10. So that's one 10 and zero ones regrouped. Then I've got seven tens and five tens, which would make 12 tens. And my extra regrouped, which makes 13 tens. You can see the 13 tens written there. So that's regrouped as 103 tens. Finally, I need to do 500 add 100, which makes 630 as my final answer. Well done if you beat me on that one. Okay, there was two lots of regrouping there. Okay, next example, 786, add 46. Off you go. Keep up with me if you can, or pause the video if you want to. 786. There's my addition, 46, I'm adding on. Oops, I'm trying to do this quickly so that I beat you. 
six adds six, six ones add six ones is 12 ones. So that's regrouped into one ten and two ones. Eight tens add four tens is 12 tens. Oh, mustn't forget my regrouped. So that makes 13 tens, which is regrouped into 100 and three tens. 700 add 100 is 800, 832. Did you beat me again? Well done. Don't worry if you needed to pause the recording so that you get that done. Um, let's just check this one. So we started off with 786, add 46. Our ones column, first of all, six add six is 12. So we regroup that into one 10 and two ones. Then we move to our tens column. 80 add 40 add 10. So eight tens add four tens add one 10 would make 13 tens. Can't squish that into the tens box. So we need to make sure we've regrouped our 13 tens into 103 tens. And finally, our hundreds column, 700 add 100 is 800, 832. Well done if you got that answer. Okay, this one is slightly different. Can you see why? Yes, the smaller numbers first, okay? And it doesn't really matter which order you do these. So we've got 65 being shown in our place value grid. So if we were to write this down, we could write 65 here and 375 underneath. But actually it doesn't matter which order you do those in. So if you're more comfortable of putting 375 at the top and 65 underneath, you can do. Okay, I'm going to write it down the way that it's been written in the edition, but you could write 375 add 65 underneath. It doesn't matter which order you do them. I'm going to do it in the same order here. Oh, I'm gonna to have to rub that out. Oh, you've got a head start on me now. Sixty-five. Add. Making sure that hundred is in the hundred column. Three hundred and seventy-five. I bet some of you have finished already. Three hundred and seventy-five. Oh, my equal sign. Them. Not very straight. Okay. 5 add 5 makes 10. That's regrouped to 1 10 and no zero ones. 6 tens and 7 tens and the extra 10. That makes 14 tens, which is 104 tens. 300 add 100 is 400, 440. Did you do it? Well done. Okay. So here's some more for you to have a go at in your books. Here are do it questions here. For the last one, you've got the answer box first. You know that that doesn't make any difference. You're still going to do your um, addition. Can you make sure that everybody is showing us your calculations of that? We don't just want the answers. We want to see that um, you are setting out your calculations correctly with your place value headings. Make sure your hundreds, tens, and ones are lined up, please, and so that we can see all of your working for these calculations. Okay, thinking about whether you need to regroup each time um, which columns need to regroup, and making sure that everything lines up. Okay, so just pause the recording while you do your do its. And if you finish those, now you can move on to your go deep and go deeper today. Okay, let's just have a quick look at these. What's Colin got wrong today? So Colin thinks that 656 add 47 is 603. Okay, it's already told you he's wrong, so make sure that you explain why he is wrong and also give the correct answer for that question. And then your go deeper is an always, sometimes, never true. So circle which one you think it is, but again, please explain why. Colin has said the sum of a three digit and a two digit number has the same hundreds digit as the three digit number. Okay, do you think that's always, sometimes, or never true? And whichever answer you pick, can you prove it? Okay, well done for your maths today. I hope you're enjoying the column edition and we'll see you again soon.